All right, we did a little things on the uh, the old Datsun today. Uh, we got this steering wheel installed. Uh, I bought a hub adapter. Uh, I think it's a 3592 from Grant. Uh, you're meant to use the three bolt style. I have one of those steering wheels and uh, I could not figure out a way to get the OAM horn to, uh, to work with it because uh, it's got this insulated little plate that's supposed to snap around, but it can't snap around with the Datsun. It's very NASCAR themed with a huge circular foam in the center. And it also looked weird because it was about yay big. And uh, that wheel is slightly bigger, but it just, it ate the whole wheel up. So it looked weird. Uh, so yeah, I had an adapter from my 200. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's over there. Uh, and the Grant wheel that the car came with, it's a little small, but uh, it's, we'll see how it is. I mean, 225 is in the front, no power steering. We'll find out quickly if I uh, if it's too small. But yeah, uh, but I had no screws for it. They all went missing. So uh, the only ones I could find were Robertson. So it's definitely a, uh, a Canadian spec install on the horn, but uh, or on the steering wheel. But it works, it's in. Uh, it's not as torn up as the OEM one was because it just started to uh, disintegrate and bubble up really weird. But uh, yeah, it happened. Um, we made a shifter for it. Uh, Japanese style kind of looks like a baseball bat but uh, yeah it's nice it's nice in the hands we had some aluminum round bar kicking around that came with a lathe actually so we uh, yeah just put a taper on on the lathe it was a bit of fun uh, and then uh, in the engine bay all we've done is uh, this uh, coupler was absolutely torn up so we just we put RTV on it cleaned it and RTV would it and uh, now with the new injector clips, it doesn't seem to stumble onto throttle uh, as badly. So yeah, we're making some uh, some success here. We'll try to uh, keep you more in the loop. But yeah, that's the car, and I'll smell you guys later.